Welcome to day three of 21 Days of Prayer. Um, my name is Josh, and I just want to say that I'm so thankful for everyone who has committed to set aside time and participate uh, in this season of prayer and spiritual refocus. As uh, the new season of the year is moving in, summertime is coming to a close, um, and it's a great opportunity to reprioritize and refocus on spiritual things. I want to give a special shout out to my friend Matt. Thanks for watching, Matt. Matt and I, we're co-workers, and we have a lot of good conversations about what it means to live as a Christian, uh, living out the Christian love that the scriptures talk about and that Jesus models for us. Um, and in particular this morning, we're going to be talking about cherishing truth. And in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, where we have uh, one of the most famous passages that talks about love and what it means to have Christian love, uh, the verses talk about truth as opposed to evil. In fact, Jesus refers to himself as the way, the truth, and the life. And if we want to follow Jesus, then we must pursue truth. Proverbs chapter 12 verse 19 says that truthful lips endure forever, but a lying tongue is but for a moment. While so much of the Bible praises truth and calls Christians to deny evil and pursue that truth, the author of this proverb, I think, really gets to the why behind those commandments. In so many situations, lying is the easy thing to do. When I make a mistake and I'm too embarrassed to own it up, I lie. When I get frustrated at my failures or my shortcomings, I lie. When I don't want to hurt a friend, I lie. And in each one of those scenarios, bending the truth, as I like to call it, or lying, uh, it can just, it, it's so appealing. It just seems like the easy thing to do. Sometimes it seems like the right thing to do. But when we lie, we're prioritizing the moment at the cost of the long term. Truth builds up relationships and lying tears them down. Lying leads to a lack of trust. And trust is so fundamental in so many of our relationships. Being honest is certainly not always the easy decision to make. But as we love others in truth again and again, we can form new habits and the lies become far less tempting. As we seek a refocus in this end of summer season, our prayer is for a clean conscience. Our prayer is for new habits and our prayer is for selfless love all built upon truth. Join with me as we pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you. Thank you for prayer that we can come to you in open communication and talk to you, God. We are so grateful for our church community that we can talk to you and pray together. And God, as we go through this week and we focus on what it means to truly love as your word commands and love in the way that you loved us, God, we pray that you would equip us with truth. God, I pray that we would follow your example of truth, that as we move into this new season, that you give us the boldness to give up some of the lies or deception that have weighed heavy on our conscience, perhaps for a while, that God, we would see this as a restart, as, as a, new, a new beginning moving forward. God, I pray that you would help us to move forward into this new season of the year, this new season of life with truth. And God, I pray that you would be with us throughout it all and we'll give you the glory and the honor for it. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Hey, thanks for watching and have a great day.